So we've returned to our handy roadmap here of interior architecture, and we've already gotten our repository finished. So the repository is good to go. Check. Now what we need to do is we need to start building our service repository. And the service repository goes like this. In your regular repository, you will have regular CRUD methods. And we've already established that. We've seen a lot of the methods that are provided to us but we have services as a layer of abstraction. So what exactly do I mean by abstraction? You will use methods in your services that look very specific to what type of data that you will need, and they will be comprised of repository methods. A very specific case would be you want to create a method of create a club when a guest logs in. It's very important that you don't want to think about that code. You will probably need to use this service create club when guest very often. So you will create this method and within this method, you will have various repository methods so that you can just pull this method out whenever you need to. And you have that layer of abstraction. So you don't have to think about how this code actually worked. You can just pull it directly into your controller and start using services and all of this code is abstracted away from you and you can worry more about building the app as opposed to rewriting code and trying to think about what your code is doing all of the time. So let's go ahead and start coding up the services for our clubs. The first thing that we want to do in order to actually create our service is number one, let's go ahead and create a folder and we're just going to call this service. You could call it services, you could just call it service, it really doesn't matter. And we're going to create an interface that we can bring in and out of all of our controllers very easily. We could do this with a class, but we do it with an interface because it makes it a lot easier and a lot more decoupled. So we will call this uh, club service. So this is going to be a service for our club. Very simple. Next thing is we're just going to worry about one method right now. In our next video, we are going to be creating a controller. But for right now, let's just worry about one very simple method. And we'll just find all of the clubs at one time and we will display them on a web page in our next video. But for right now, let's just worry about the service. So we'll go here, we'll bring in the list. But this interface doesn't really do much. It's just an interface. We actually need to implement the code that we are going to use so we will create an impl file. So we're going to go within our actual service and we're going to call this an impl. Then we're going to create a club service impl as you uh, <laughs> probably already guessed. So we're going to say club service impl. It's going to be a class because we're actually implementing it. And once again, we're using this word implements a lot where it's going to implement our club service. So we're gonna go in here, we'll get a red squiggly line. This is what we want. And we are going to click the red light bulb and we are going to actually implement this method. But once again, can't stop there. We need to actually bring in our repository because all of the repository code is going to be used within our service for abstraction. So here we'll say private and we'll bring in our club repository. So club repository and we will right click. We will generate. We're going to generate a constructor with our club repository in it. You could just leave it like this, but let's just be super official. We'll go ahead and give it the auto wired annotation. But once again, in new spring, you don't have to actually provide the auto wired. It will automatically do everything for you. But just to be official, we're going to add it anyway. So now we need to actually write the code that's going to go out and get stuff from our database. And we're going to be using the repository method. So I'm going to go club. So I'm going to return a list of more than one club. This is going to be clubs. It's going to be club repository and we're going to have find all and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my club. We are going to return a stream or not a stream. We're going to turn it into a stream and the stream is going to map it. Essentially just a fancy for loop here, a fancy one liner for loop, essentially what a map is. And we are going to map to club DTO. Well, we don't actually have this method yet because we need to return a club DTO, but we're just getting clubs back from our database. Why do we need to actually map this? And or why do we need to turn this into a club DTO? Because it's not the same type. And in the future, when our code becomes more complicated, we're going to want that DTO. So we're trading a minor amount of inconvenience for the ability to be able to turn this into a DTO and be able to shape this data however we want to so that we can display it in more secure and more 
convenient ways on our actual web page. And the way that we do this is we create this thing called a mapper. So a mapper is an important concept in software engineering and a mapper can be found in many different forms you can actually have software that will handle all the mapping for you you don't have to write any of your own code but i typically recommend against this because you don't see actual automatic mappers in your day-to-day -day life as <clears throat> excuse me a software engineer you're going to see more likely people writing their own methods. Even though we can use software to do this mapping, I always recommend just mapping it yourself because you're not going to see automatic mappers much in a production environment. And it's better just to make them yourself, in my opinion. That is just my opinion though. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make a mapper here that's going to take in our club and turn it into a club DTO. And this is very simple to do. So we go here, so we're gonna say club DTO. We want to return a club DTO. We're gonna call this a club DTO and we're going to use our builder within our DTO class to actually make this. So we have this builder.builder .builder method. If you don't have this, what you wanna do is you wanna go back into your club DTO and add this annotation right here. But I've got it on mine, so we're pretty much good to go. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna bring this down and I'm going to say dot ID and I'm going to pass in a club dot get ID. We're going to do our title, so same thing. So club dot get title, and IntelliSense is going to handle a lot of this for you. So we'll have photo URL, a club dot get photo URL. Then we'll have content, and then we'll have club dot get content, and then we'll have created on. We'll have club. It's not going to do that one for us. So we have get created on, and we have updated on. So club dot see here get updated on and let's see we need to build it so we built it now we need to return it so we're going to return our club dto that should be good we've got that ready and now we can finally move on to our actual view anyways hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching